everybody! On this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a game called Fraction Game. So this basically uh, is a fraction game, math game. So at the end of this video, we are going to be able to make a game just like this one. Like that. Now let's get started. So for making the fraction game, we have uh, some sprites, the title sprite, the page sprite, the question, the options, four options, and the good job sign. Let's start with the title. So the title has a costume. This is the, co the costume. It has the title fraction. Let's start coding it. Uh, when green flags click it, broadcast a message, and it's called start. New message, start like that and when I uh, when I receive start uh, we'll go to x1 and y99 and it will also show like that so let's test it yes it worked uh, when verify click it it will broadcast start and when it receives start it will go to x1 y99 and it will show to prove that let's hide the sprite first full screen and when verify click it it will show like that that's how you make the title so the next step is making the play button uh, go to the play button sprite and then go to events when I receive start and go to x minus 1 and y minus 39 also uh, add a set size block set size to 130 I mean 130 sorry 130 and then a show block also go to control and forever loop and then if then else block so if touching mouse pointer, mm, if touching mouse pointer, it will add a repeat until block. Repeat until size. I if size equal 140. Repeat until size equals 140, and we'll change size by two. Duplicate this. Duplicate. Repeat until size equal 130. Change size by minus one. Let's test it. Okay, right click it. Okay, every time it's touching the mouse pointer, it's going to increase the size, and every time it's not touching the mouse pointer, it will decrease the size. Also, don't forget the switch backdrop block. Switch backdrop to backdrop two, I guess. Yes, it's backdrop two. So that's how you make the play button. So after the play button, uh, we're going to do the transition. Every time we click the play button, it will uh, start the game. So go to events. When this sprite is clicked, make sure you're still in the play sprite. When, when this sprite is clicked, it will broadcast broadcast new message it's called play uh, and then I will switch backdrop to backdrop 2 and backdrop 3 and also it will hide so drag it into the up position and then to the title at the hide block and say play it will hide and then go to the question, the question sprite, it has three costumes. So for the video, I'm just going to give you three questions. Go to the code, when I see play, go to x0 and y100, and then it will show. Also go to the option. A show block when I see play show 
drag it into all the options. Also, when I receive when I receive start, it will hide. Drag it also to the option. Also drag it into the question. Let's test it. Play button. I'm going to okay it's working let's test it again green flag play and it will show like that that is the transition okay so next is the question the question has three costume and then uh, we're going to make variables I already make uh, so much variable and then you drag a set set game to off and then also set answer to zero like that next up go to the uh, play script when I to play when I to play it will set question question to one and set answer to answer to two so let's go to the option two and so for the first question it is uh three fifth the uh this is three fifth and go back to the question so yes this is also three fifth so you got to match the image with the with the answer the option like that Go back to the question. Set answer to two. Also, at a set game to on. Go to look. Switch costume block. Switch costume to costume one. And then wait until block. Wait until question equals two like that so we're going to duplicate this uh, three times so I finished duplicating uh, this is for the question one this one this is for question two also don't forget to adjust the question variable and the answer variable also this costume variable uh, costume block Wait until question equals three adjust again and wait until question equals four so this is a little weird so there's only three questions but wait until question equals four and then it will broadcast good job which is basically this code is going to end the whole program and the project like that so this is for the question okay let's play and I switch costume according to the question so the question sprite and the question variable and the question is one so if the question is i'm gonna set question to let's say three okay two i will switch uh to the next costume like that so that's how you make the question next up is the options so the options uh there are four options Let's start with option one. So when I was, when I receive uh, when I receive a uh, play, it will add a go to block. Go to x minus one hundred six and y minus twenty four, and it, and then it will also show. Also don't forget a uh, switch costume, switch costume to costume one because it's question one, and also set set color effect to zero. Mm -hmm, like that uh, and then uh, go to events when this part is click it mm. go to variables so this is the options set option one to yes so if the sprite is click it and it's option one it will set option one to yes 
but it will set the other option like option 2 option 3 and option of of an option 4 to know so yes like this and then you also set answer but this time answer chosen to 1 and then you will broadcast broadcast uh answer chosen like that yes and then uh after that when i receive when i receive answer chosen add an if then else block if if option one is yes it will show else it will hide and then go to controls again add an if block if the game variable is on and another if if duplicate this I mean if option one equals yes sorry if turn this into one play the game variable and then turn this into uh if answer if I mean if question is question one and then also add another if block I mean if then else block if answer equals answer chosen then it will set color effect to 50 which is green and then it will start sound tada also then add a wait block wait three seconds and then set a question to two and then we'll broadcast a new message next next question like that so if duplicate this turn this into alert change this into 180 which is red just need to wait two seconds and put it here so uh, we are going to do this to all the options and I'm going to pause the video, okay? So I done it. I add a few extra. If question equals two, it will set question to three and others. If question equals three, it will set question to four. And then broadcast good job. Like that. Mm -hmm. So the next step is add a one. Uh, I receive next question, okay? so when i receive when i receive next question i will set color effect to zero and then um, add a go to block go to x just adjust it according to the position of the sprite and then add an if block if let's put it in the bottom first if question equals two it will switch costume to costume two and then duplicate this if costume equals three switch costume to costume three 
like that also don't forget to add a show block so put it in the other options put it in option 3 also option 4 I'm going to adjust the position okay so I already adjusted the position and we're going to test it green flag click it play so the diffraction is uh, three fifths so I'm gonna click it and it's correct okay there's some error here we are going to fix it so the error was for question option four is that uh, I entered the white position incorrect so I, I was 100 20, but it was supposed to be minus 120 so for the for the problem that is the alert sound just continue and then uh, we didn't add a stop this script block add a stop this script mm -hmm. stop it here also this one stop this script here apply it to all of it okay so the error will, will not occur yes so i already fixed the error i already add stop this script to all of the sprites let's test it again play and it works really well so after i answer the last question nothing happens so we're going to make something happen other when i receive when i receive block when i receive good job uh i will hide and apply to all of the sprites option one option two option three and option four and the last thing is the good job sprite so the last thing is the good job sprite uh, when I receive play it will hide and when I save show I mean start it will also hide and show block when I receive good job it will show don't forget to add a motion block go to X minus 5 and Y minus 26 after showing it will stop all like that let's test it full screen this time play this one is this. So this is more like a math game, so you have to answer it correct. So if you are a great at math, I suggest you uh, make a game just like this one. This one is a half. And the last thing, this one is two eight. And it worked. The good job, right? Made great, made brilliant. So basically, this is all how you make the fraction game on scratch uh, I know it's a little bit complicated just look at how much the code yes I know uh, and then uh, the time it is so long uh, so I also make this game a really long time take me like days to make this so please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching everybody see you next time bye